After eight years of the White House being closed to the public for tours at Michelle Obama's disgusting demand, President Donald Trump immediately opened the People's House back up to the people as soon as he took office. This is special all year round, but especially at Christmas time as Americans come to celebrate the season and see Melania Trump's stunning Christmas decor plan for themselves. The Trumps aren't just spending their first Christmas in office, they are also celebrating the end of an incredible first year and an end of the Obama era. However, it's been discovered that something huge has gone missing from the White House during the hustle and bustle of this busy time of year and people are furious about it. The White House looks a lot different today than it did this time last year, when the Obamas were living in the place. Trump's predecessor abused the presidential position and honor of living in this historical house. For his own gain, while the former first lady took advantage of the status to live out her dream of being a socialite and become best friends with rappers and their wives. Although Michelle shut down tours to peasant citizens, she and Barack hosted a number of events for their racist celebrity events and acted like rap stars themselves. The Obamas basically desecrated this American monument with Barack's un American presidency and his disgusting parties that you had to either be black or a rapper to be invited to. The rock star attitude and disrespect for the highest position in the land was humiliating and infuriating, but his supporters celebrated these unacceptable soirees as the change that Obama brought to the nation. However, now that Trump is in charge and he's brought class back to the White House, liberal Obama lovers are furious over what else he's removed that hasn't been recognized until now. El previously praised the Obamas for their black entertainment television, that party they hosted before leaving the White House, despite Barack and Michelle going full ghetto during the racist all-night rager. The White House has hosted many fancy affairs full of formalities and buttoned-up attendees. When Beth came over to throw a celebration for the Obamas, however, the president and first lady let loose. The event happened on October 21st before the madness but aired last night, November 15. It's with a little bit of bittersweetness that this is our final musical evening as president and first lady it's gonna be alright, Obama told the audience. It was a star-studded evening including hosts Terrence J and Regina Hall. Speakers Samuel L. Jackson and Jesse Williams, and performances from Usher, Common, Michelle Williams, Janelle Monae, and more. Obama joked in his opening remarks at the party, where he finally felt like the cool kid when he said, There will also be no twerking tonight, at least not by me. I don't know about Usher. It's hard to see that and realize this is who the president of the most powerful country in the world was for eight years. However, that's just a bad memory now that he's out and the Trumps are in and took out the trashy parties when they arrived. Bet, Jay-Z, Vince, and a long list of other stars who shared the same racist values as the Obamas partied all year long in the People's House that was closed down the regular American people but are now nowhere to be found since Trump won't let them in. In fact, he's making an all-new guest list for his Jerstmas parties this year and checking it twice crossing off who has been naughty, not nice, such as the fake news network who loves to hate the president. President Donald Trump on Wednesday suggested boycotting CNN after it announced it would not be attending the White House Christmas party, Politico reported. Great, and we should boycott fake news CNN. Dealing with them is a total waste of time, the president wrote online in a retweet of Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders' tweet praising CNN's decision to not attend the White House Christmas party. CNN said Tuesday that the network will not be attending the party, adding that in light of the president's continued attacks on freedom of the press and CNN, we do not feel it is appropriate to celebrate with him as his invited guests. Trump can and does do what he wants, no matter who it offends, and has every right to respond to CNN in the way he did after they disrespected him. He is not a president who panders to anyone and it only concerned with making America great again, and did so when he let citizens back into the White House and kicked the racist, disrespectful rappers out that Obama only partied with.